Hi, it's Robert Goyer, Editor-in-Chief of Flying Magazine. I recently flew the new Garmin GTN 750 and GTN 650 touchscreen navigators in Garmin's Ovation 2 out of New Century Airport in Olathe, Kansas, with Garmin test pilot Grant Wittenborn. The new touchscreen units are replacements for Garmin's very popular GNS 430 and GNS 530 navigators. The touchscreen approach is no gimmick. I found the new units to be clear improvements on the state of the art. Here's a look at just a few of the features you'll get with these new touchscreen navigators. Okay, go ahead. You can do it uh, home button, graphically or via the flight plan page. Hit the flight plan page, at the waypoint, and let's go to um, AQT. Okay. Then, how about back to um, the airport? New Century Air Center. Okay, verify that. Hit enter. And direct. So now if we're in nav mode, away we go. Okay, so let's range out a little bit here. Okay. Just it's touch screen. It's real easy to, to select. Oh, the here's up the waypoint, waypoint information. information. Yep. Is it for you? That's what I want. So, to, oops, to graphically edit. There plan. you go. Yep. Touch this. Bring it over there. You can ask me if that's what I want. I do want it for you. And let's say that I want to uh, do a, uh, a Victor Airway routing. I can select like Victor 10. You can either, I mean, the, the easiest way to do it is if you're in a graphical flight plan mode, just uh -huh. to kind of follow that airway down and then tell it you want to get off there. And then, since it thinks you're going to Hutchison already, it's going to keep you on Victor 10, so I guess it already knows uh, since you're going to Hutch. Oh, and we're, a little, we're actually going direct to Hutch now, so done. Okay. So I can choose to, to go back to the uh, home page one of several ways. I can hit the back button and just keep on going back until I get to this home page. Or I can, let's say that I'm back on my flight plan, I can simply at any time hit the home page, that brings me back there too. That's so right. it's always easy to get back to a place where you're familiar. That's right. Again, though, if you're on a page, you can also hold home, and you get the hold for map, and it takes you to the map. So the home page not only gives you that main menu home page, but it also gives you the map page, which to pilots feels like home. That's right, yeah, right. absolutely. As you can see, the, the panning and the redraw on the map is very fast. And the quality of it is fantastic. The nine arc super second. sharp. It is. Um, the colors are spectacular. It's 16 million colors on the LED displays, and it's, it gives you um, the ability to um, see all kinds of differentiation between on terrain and on weather products that you could never see before. That's right. GTN 750 also drives the auto panel, so that's right. If we hit the auto panel button, we can see that we can select all these different modes. Right. And we simply switch back and forth from comp to comp by going from comp one to comp two. That's right. If I'm on comp two and I want to monitor comp one, just switch over there and it does that as well. And I can just toggle it right off if I want to. That's right. We can also get nav. So if we want to listen to, for instance, some flight service stations, we listen to them through the nav source. We sure. can do that at any time. That's right. We've also got playback controls, which is pretty nice, and that will play back our last uh, transmission That's over right. the radio. So if you miss a, um, if you miss an ATC call, for for instance, you can just hit the playback, and it's right there for you. That's right. That's a feature on G1000 that I think every pilot loves. Yes, at one point, at one point in time, you probably use that. On some days, you use it more often than others. <laughs> And on, on both the 750 and the 650, you, um, they have the ability to control a remote transponder. That's right. And we're just squawking VFR right now, but if we hit that transponder, if we get a code, we just enter the code, I'll enter 1200 again because that's what we're assigned, and then enter, right. and we've got our code in there. So if we go back to the uh, back to the menu with a single push of the home button, now we can see also that we have charts on here. Right. And here we've 
got Olathe because that's our destination. It automatically nominated Olathe in there. And that's the airport diagram. We can see that. Let's say that I want to choose a different chart, though. I can simply go over to Approaches. Exploding the approaches, and it nominates the first one for me. I don't know if it knew if we took off on 36 or not. <laughs> I don't know if it's that smart, but it nominated the ILS for runway 36, which is probably first in line. That's right. If we want to load that procedure in, how would we go about doing that? Uh, you could uh, select that approach and then uh, go back. That's it. There you go. And then go back. And then go back. And then you go to your either your procedures procedure. page. And then select approach. Right. And then it knows that your destination is uh, Olathe again. Select the approach. ILS 36. Now you can view it on the chart there. Load oh, it I know or that's load what I want. and activate and load it. Well, let's uh, load it because we. Yep, we know that. And there it is. There it is. And once again, hold that down. We're going to go to the map. And here's Olathe, and I can see the final approach course is, is on there already. So I just tap on that. That'll center the the cursor on it, yep. and then zoom in. And there's my approach, and I know that dust is the outer marker for that approach, right?